What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to today's edition of Free Tool Friday. My name is Tyler S. Clark. I'm going to be your host and guide over this critically important tool that we are going to be covering today. And this tool is Trello. Trello is one of my all time favorite free tools to use inside of my firm and inside of my clients, accounting firms where we help them to ultimately attract and win the business of their dream clients. And when you're getting really good at that, like our top clients are, guess what becomes really, really, really important? Management. And Trello is an incredible team management tool. So I'm going to show you a sneak peek behind the scenes look at how our company uses Trello so that you can better use Trello inside of your accounting, bookkeeping, or tax firm. But before I do that, I like to just make sure that you understand what the purpose of the tool is when it's appropriate to use this tool. Because I know a lot of people watching this, they'll say, oh, I tried to use Trello and it didn't really work. Fair enough, not every tool is for every firm, but I like to say, well, why didn't it work? Did we use the right tool for the right job? And here's typically where Trello will fail most accounting firms. Trello is not meant to do these two things. Number one, Trello is not meant to tell the owner of the company what to do. And that's what a lot of people start to use it for. It's kind of like a personal to-do list, checklist for the owner of the firm. No, 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 no. This is meant to help delegate tasks to team members to do on your behalf. So that's the first thing. If you find you're trying to use Trello to tell you what your responsibilities are, might work for some people, but from the vast majority of people I've spoken to, that's why I say, yeah, it didn't really work that well. Second reason that it is not working for your accounting firm is that you're trying to use Trello as a project management tool for your accounting responsibilities. No, 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 no. Again, I don't believe that is the best way to use Trello for your firm. And I'm going to discuss exactly what I believe the best way is in just a moment here. But when people try and take a, a, a one size fits all massive management software tool like Trello and try and fit it into a very niche and specific industry such as accounting to help you deliver on your bookkeeping, your tax returns, any particular role related to your accounting firm, I like to say, oh, I don't think that's going to work because there are better, well-defined solutions specifically designed to help you manage the fulfillment department of your business. But fulfillment isn't all there is. There's marketing, there's sales, there's operations. And so anything that falls outside of that role, I love to use Trello for. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you how to set up your Trello boards in a way that I think is the most conducive way to get an extremely high degree of visibility on your respective projects. And I'm gonna show you our graphic design board. We've got a couple of different boards. I'll show you some of the boards that we have. Uh, but again, I'm gonna show you the in-depth look at our graphic design board. Cause I think it's like one of the coolest boards we have. It's like one of the ones I love to go into. Shout out to Denise, our graphic designer. She does a fantastic job. Um, so why don't we go ahead and take a look at that. But so again, just to be perfectly clear, Trello is great for everything from a project management perspective that is not related to delivering on the promise you make in your sales to your clients. So not keeping track of accounting, bookkeeping and uh, tasks, everything else outside of that. I really like Trello. So let's go ahead and dive in. And uh, so you guys can better understand how to use this super, super cool free tool. So I am sharing my screen here and that's obviously the Facebook live video. But here is the way Trello looks. Now, don't get overwhelmed. I'm going to just make sure I break out each individual part of this so you know exactly how this looks, runs, and operates. So first and foremost, we're going to talk about the individual, um, uh, they're not called, what are these called? These are called lists. So these are lists here. So you'll notice that I have my list set up a very specific way, and this is actually kind of the old the old uh, management principles from Toyota because Toyota kind of blasts onto the speen, speen Japanese automaker because they were so good at manufacturing. And this board style is based on the way Toyota set theirs up, which is what do we need to do to do? They didn't use the do in seven days moniker like we do, but to do, this has to get done. What is currently being worked on? 
in progress. Like this is the one thing that's being worked on right now. And what have we completed so far? And we like to, again, kind of batch this in terms of a week because we have weekly staff meetings. And when we have our weekly staff meeting, we like to take a look at what was completed in the last week. And I'll address that in just a moment. So those are the three main ones. Any board that we have, right? And we've got multiple boards, social media, LinkedIn, graphic design, SEO and blog stuff, video content, uh, dreamleads.app. Not, that's a secret. You guys aren't supposed to know about that yet. But so point is, is you got all sorts of really cool boards outside of your responsibilities to deliver on your promises, right? That's the main point again about Trello. And when you're in here, your lists are set up in such a way that it's very clear what needs to be done, what is currently being worked on and what has been completed. Now, in order for a lot of things to get done, they need the approval of ownership. They, they need the approval of management to say, yes, I like the way this looks or no, you know what? There's actually something we need to tweak. We need to change here. And so this is your for review board, right? So this means that the ownership of the person who's responsible for this particular task or this card, which is what Trello has is these are like cards. That's the board's list cards, cards live on lists, lists live on boards. Um, that's, the, that's the management structure. So anyway, or that's the way the, the platform operates. So right here, you've got something for review and it's been assigned to Marine. You can see her face right here, right? Maybe zoom in a little bit. And so what we'll do is we'll say, okay, Marine needs to review this. And so when we open this, we'll see that we've got the nice little thing up here. Let's just know what we're talking about. All right, this is an image for one of our very first blogs. Oh my goodness, we're actually getting into blogging. And it's just proof to say like blogging is like the very last thing you need to worry about in your business it's, and it takes a long time to get operational. So then you scroll down here and you can see who it's assigned to, what the due date is. So when we want this to be done by, okay. So coming up, I think uh, later on, on Monday, we've got a description. We've got links in here to our Google drive folders. We've got, uh, we've got some other things in here. So it's just like, this is what we expect to be done. And then you can see a, a conversation of what has happened, right? So originally we kind of had my face on it. We said, ah, you know, maybe not so much have our face on it. And then we can see that Maureen has some updates that she would like to see. She gets to communicate those very clearly to our graphic designer. And then once they get done, guess what? We then move it back to to do and say, okay, now this is her responsibility. So we could easily just say, all right, well, we'll remove Maureen from this. We'll just say, okay, this is no longer Maureen's responsibility. This is actually Denise's responsibility now. She's our designer, right? So Maureen reviews it, ba, 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 it's done. We come back here, we could jump back and move it over here. So now needless to say, that isn't actually what happens. It, it most likely still needs to be reviewed. So we can just open it back up and then just re put it back the way that it needs to be. And that gives you an idea of the way that this works. Now, there are a few other lists here that I'd like to be clear about because not everything is going to be done in seven days. Not everything needs to be done in seven days. And not everything is ready to be deployed. Just because something's done doesn't mean it's actually in the market quite yet. So you can see here that we have something to deploy right now, which is a, a testimonial that we're getting ready to put out on our soon to be website. Yeah, we're gonna have a big boy website soon, not just a landing page, even though landing page is perfect for the vast majority of us for, for a very long time. And uh, something we recommend because it's complicated, costly to get a website operational. And so you can see here, we got this very nice testimonial from Ken and Julie Mallet. They're uh, fantastic clients of ours. We've got an interview coming up with them, I think, what, next week? To this upcoming Wednesday? Oh man, don't miss this interview. Ken and Julie are just absolutely fantastic. But yeah, I mean, if you want to learn from people adding $100,000 within a few months, um, this would be a fantastic interview for you to attend coming up on Wednesday. So again, you can see here that we've got a large variety that our graphic designer has created for us to choose from. So the point here is like, we haven't deployed this yet, but we've got it sitting here so that we, when it's ready to give to our uh, web designers and it's deployed on our website, we'll be able to say, great, this is done, right? We just move it over there. I'm of course not gonna do that, but we'll move it over there. We'll drop it and boop, shoot it out. It's done. Okay, great. And then one other thing that I wanna uh, just kind of uh, illustrate here is that we've got a, um, we've got a list here. And so at the end of my weekly team meeting, and everyone should have weekly team meetings with their, with their staff, but at the end of our weekly team meeting with our graphic designer, we'll take a look at our done list. 
And then we will move all the cards in this list. So when you click on this little, uh, I always forget what this thing's called, the three little dots. When you click on this, you will then be able to move all cards in this list. So I will move all the cards in this list to our done list, okay? And this is further on the side here. I'm gonna explain the rest of the list in just a minute. But now I'm move all these cards, right? So I just move them out of here. I cleaned them out. I would have done it on Monday anyway. I'm just doing it one work day earlier. And so now it's like, that's done. I'm not gonna let that gunk up our view. What have we completed this week? And if we scroll over here, you'll notice that we have a done list. And our done list is essentially a cumulative list of all of the respective projects our graphic designer has completed. And you, you guys probably recognize like a lot of these, like we just had the interview with Dan Hen last week. So that's one's very close, clear, uh, very, uh, very close to the top. Tim Tervier is coming up in two or three weeks here. So you've got a few things here uh, that again, are just like, we've got this completed. These are done. Few other things here. You've got on hold. So if there is a reason that we cannot complete this right now, right? It's not ready to be deployed. We're waiting on an asset. There's something that's just not ready for this to be like worked on this week. It goes into on hold, okay? It's just on hold for whatever reason, okay? Important info. Important info is essentially anything I need my graphic designer or whoever the team member is, the, the board setups are the same regardless of what board we're on. Anytime I'm getting ready to make sure that I'm uh, bringing a team member on board, I wanna make sure that if they need to access to something, it's an important info, right? So how we like to organize our designs, what our, uh, get our logo, we've got an image cheat sheet for another project that's coming up and we have templates. So this is a really cool feature that recently came out on Trello that I absolutely love. So when you open up this particular card, you'll be able to create a new card from this template. So you don't have to recreate the work. You just say, okay, right? Like create card from template, boop. And it would then allow you to then just say, I'm going to put this into do not started. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to change it to a, a image for Facebook group, right? I just dropped something in here and then I could create that card. I'm not going to do that. But the nice thing is, is it just prevents a lot of recreating of a, of a card that you need to ask for um, or a task that you expect to come up frequently. And needless to say, we have a lot of new testimonials because our clients love us. We generate them a lot. And so we have to um, we have to get those testimonial images created and out into the market quickly. So we have a template specifically for that particular card. Um, okay, and then one last thing here is future actions. And I'm not gonna move over to the right because there's one other thing here that's just like, I don't wanna confuse you guys to be honest. Um, there's just like a smaller list that's for a very specific uh, graphic design thing we have. We have future actions. So future actions is when you are uh, when you have something in the that is way out in the future that you want to have done, but you're not ready to move it over. So think of this as like a, a uh, almost like a wish list in a way. It's like we're not ready to move this to the uh, uh, what, what would, uh, the like production uh, floor, but we know we need to do it in the future. Like it's almost like a conceptual board of like we have to get these done but they're not the priority this week. So anyway, that gives you just a nice understanding of the way that we like to set up Trello. Uh, but just to summarize, cards live in lists, lists live in boards, cards are specific items, lists are a way to manage where those items are in your production floor, and boards are a way to break out individual responsibilities for your company. And again, the way that we kind of have our set up or is related to social media. We have one specifically for LinkedIn because we use that platform a lot. Graphic design, video, SEO blog, uh, and all of that good stuff. So uh, yeah, I mean, that pretty much covers Trello. Uh, again, it's a really, really cool tool. Uh, there's so many amazing things you can do with it. Um, I didn't even have time to go into all the features, but to me, it's very much the type of tool that once you start to uh, really, really just like get into it, you're going to find that there's so many cool things for you to be able to do, explore, enjoy, and the efficiencies that you pick up from it are absolutely wild. And um, there's, a, there's an old expression in management that is always true. What gets measured gets managed and what gets managed gets done. Trello is how you measure how effective your team is 
at getting their responsibilities completed. And since you have a high level view and understanding of what needs to be done, what are we doing? And what has been done or what do we need to review so that we can ultimately elevate this particular task, responsibility, department of our company, of our firm. So that is Trello. And I hope you find a way to use it the right way for your accounting, bookkeeping, or tax firm. So that concludes today's Free Tool Friday. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Remember that only you can make your dream firm a reality, but we help you every single step of the way. And if you want to accelerate exactly how we do that, click the link somewhere down below, book your call to learn more about our Create Your Dream Firm program, and I'll see each and every single one of you next week. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. 